What is up everyone? It is Thursday, October 5th, I want to say. Yeah. It's 12.30. I am now picking Dylan up and we are going to be in West Virginia. You ready, Dill? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah? You going to shoot another nine? Big double boy? Probably, but... <laughs> Well guys, we are almost down here. We are 30 minutes away and you can already see the hill start to change. Everything's starting to change down here. It looks real good. Can't wait. Well guys, we have made it. It was about a five hour trip, but we are here. What's up guys, it is about 5.30, it is Friday, October 5th here in West Virginia. Our first morning hunt, had a camera up here, we got pictures all night. Dylan's up to bat first here up in the hut, so I'm pretty excited to get set up. it for the morning hunt it's about 9 30 saw one doe a ways off but they just weren't moving so but you can definitely feel the temp changing it was raining here for a little bit but the temperature is just dropping so hopefully these deer get moving tonight i'm going to play around with the drone and just see what what for cool shots we can get with it maybe set up our saddles later going to check out this cornfield across the road It's 2.45 in the afternoon here, Friday, October 6th. This is the evening hunt. Me and Dylan spent the morning here till about 9.30. We had a doe come in over here, but I couldn't get on her with a camera. She just stuck her head through the fence and then kind of worked off in the opposite direction, but we were getting pictures of deer here yesterday afternoon. This is more of an evening spot. If you guys remember, this is where Dylan shot his big nine last year with the drop time. But it is, it rained all day and it just finally let up probably about an hour ago. So we slipped in here. Hopefully these deer are moving after this storm. And uh, we're just kind of hoping for the best. Dylan put some uh, dough and heat out just in case they're kind of rutting. Some of them seem to be uh, chasing does here. So, and with this big cold front moving in, tonight it's supposed to, we're supposed to get like a 20 to 30 temper degree temperature drop here. So hopefully that'll get these deer moving. It'll definitely get the deer moving. Hopefully we get the bucks out. But uh, Dylan's up to bat first here tonight. I think he's gonna shoot whatever comes in. Big mature doe or a nice buck. So hopefully we can get it done here tonight. We have another day here yet, all day tomorrow. So uh, like I said, Dylan's up. He doesn't have a deer yet this year. So hopefully he can get it done.
What's up guys? We are now going up to the kill shot of Dylan's doe. We had deer all around us. Had Pat bring a side by side up to hopefully spook them off. So right here's the arrow. Pushed her right through, huh? About six feet in the ground yet. Still on it? I don't have any hands, brother. We're gonna go down here around this thick stuff where she ran through. Get on this four-wheeler trail and see if you see any blood. Wow. I can't believe she went this way. Yep, there she is. Dylan, you're gonna walk right on her. That is what you call a perfect lung shot. Good job, buddy. So it is about nine o'clock here and we just got done getting Dylan's deer all processed and cooled down for the night. But like I said, this big cold front's coming tonight. And now it's my turn up in the hut. So hopefully tomorrow morning we can make something happen. I'm pretty excited. Them uh, new elite arrows that we both are shooting, them carbon bows, man, they're quiet. Tonight I had, I don't know how many deer around us, but one, one doe came in particularly and was 35 yards, but I decided not to shoot because I had a little limb in my way. But uh, tomorrow morning, hopefully she's there and I can get it done right away and then hang out the rest of the day, get deer cut up and see what tomorrow afternoon brings. But yeah, hopefully this cold front pushing in tonight gets these deer on their feet and Dylan will be there to film me tomorrow. So I can't wait. Well, guys, it is Saturday, October 7th. This cold front came through last night. So now, what do you think the temperature is, Duck? It's only in the 40s right now. So we're getting the heavier gear out. I'm getting ready to go up here to the tree stand. Dill's gonna be filming me this morning. We're getting pictures of does up here. There's actually some there right now, so. But we're gonna go up there with high hopes of me getting a big doe. There's plenty of them around, just hoping they come in. Pretty exciting. So we'll see you guys up there. So it's about nine o'clock now, we're gonna get down. It's getting pretty windy out. It's been windy all morning. But uh, this morning I looked across the field here and there was two, looked like smaller bucks fighting. So hopefully this cold snap here gets them moving. We're gonna come back up here this afternoon for the last last hunt of this trip. And uh, hoping I can get it done on the go. These deer always seem to move more in the, more in the afternoon here in this spot, so gonna keep our fingers crossed and hopefully we can get it done tonight if not I'll go back empty-handed but we're coming back here in four weeks to hunt for nine days so I'm not that much under the gun here yet but I would like to shoot another doe or one of them buck <sighs> feels good to be in the fall weather well we got in here we snuck in it is 3.15 in the afternoon here. Temperature's praying, staying pretty steady here at 50 degrees or so. Wind, pretty windy yet, but uh, just kind of crossing our fingers hoping for the best here. It's 
last night in West Virginia for this little trip we do in October. We got video of two smaller bucks out here kind of sparring a little bit. More or less just playing. They probably ain't rutting yet, but this cold snap maybe got one of the older bucks rutting or something. You never know. But uh, yeah, back here or not, same spot we've been all week. Just hoping for the best. These deer this year are really not interested in the feed we're putting out for them. I think it's due to the fact that persimmons and acorns and all sorts of stuff is dropping. They're picking up more and more of that stuff than the little piles of corn we put out. So drawing back in the sun is actually a lot harder than what it looks. What do you think this is doing? Like a five by four? It's pretty small for two. It's probably only like three. Yeah, three it, one. It's pretty small. But we're sitting side by side, so it's really tight to get drawn back on that corn. And if they come out anywhere else, we're pretty much screwed. So we kind of need them right here. I could shoot across from the corn to where that doe was last night at first. When she first came out, it's like 40 yards. Tonight, she comes and does that again. I will be shooting just because it's the last night. So we're going to see what we can do and hopefully... Seal the deal here for an early season dough on. Well guys, we're getting ready to go look for this doe. We looked back at the footage and right when I hit it, you could just see the blood spray out of the front shoulder and neck. We're gonna wait for some lights to get here and just hopefully we can find her right there at the edge of the field. That was a, <laughs> what is all over? <laughs> it's just a 50. <laughs> oh. Anyway, she was about. <laughs> She was about 55 yards when I made that shot. <laughs> Stop doing it. Stop it. I got Paps, Paps on his way up here with lights. Like I said, that was a 55 yard or 57 yard shot. I can't believe that it went down like that, but she kind of turned into the arrow. And uh, that mega meat opened her up pretty quick, dropped her right on the spot. So yeah, here comes Pap now on the buggy. And we're gonna hopefully find this deer quick and get her hung up and skinned out. Actually, there she is. She didn't go 20 yards, dude. That is baby. Right in the neck, too. That is awesome. All right. Let's 